Hello. It has been a while. It has been a, a, a very long time since I brought you a dedicated review. So, what's good? How you doing? I hope you've been well. It's your girl D here with another video. 2024 has been a time, let me tell you. It has been non-stop this year, but so the reason why I'm back with another review is because our friends at Wawak <laughs> were ever so kind enough to say, hey boo, what's going on? What's the stuff? So let's see what they gave us this time. Let me tell actually let's open up this part. Picking this part up today from the P.O. box was fun. Reason being, it's flat. I see what's in there. I will show you what is in there once I get this established. Now, one thing I, it makes perfect sense, but I did not know that Wawak I didn't know Wawak had cutting mats, tools, yes, blades, absolutely, scissors, notions, yes, everything, thread, bobbins. For some reason, I didn't know that they had a cutting mat. And this, I wanted to open that, that cardboard so I can go ahead and re, re uh, repurpose it because I'm also working on some, um, working on some foam items right now and that is perfect for painting but this cutting mat oh my goodness so this is it's du it's double-sided it's thick so i don't know i think this might actually compete with the ulfa cutting mats the ulfa ones are you know especially the colorful ones thin little thin little uh sheet for the coloring and you've got your solid part in the middle and then the other side too um if it's one of the dual sided ones some of the like the 18 by uh 12 by 18 mats that Ofa has um only have one side which is why it's so thin but with this being dual sided this is going to replace the Fisker's cutting mat that I have um that one I have I've had it for years, it's great, it's affordable, but also at the same time, um, it gets scratches and nicks in it often, and I've sliced through it. And so I've got um, tape on a couple of sides. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is so crazy. I did not know that they had cutting mats. Or right, we've got inch measurement, on down to centimeters too, which is something that I don't usually see the centimeters regularly numbered. Labeled, yes, the notches are there, but as for numbered, I don't see that often on cutting mats. Um, this one goes to, um, even though it is like a two, a two foot by three foot mat, this one numbered wise goes to 22 and a half inches on up to 34 inches which you know all good I, I'm, I'm still gonna use the heck out of it oh gosh I'm flabbergasted by cutting that that's how you know I am a crafter now let's see what we have yonder We can stop the video here. Okay. Excuse me, Wawak. When did we get stickers? Oh. I am a little too delighted with that. <laughs> oh, oh, I love that. Oh, that's that's gonna wait till the sewing machine gets out the shop. We're about to tap that up. Oh man. Okay, we have many things. Okay, I've got some more serger thread since I have been 
running low. So I am grateful for that. We have... I'm going to spare you. I know what this is just by the weight of it. I'll spare you opening it. One of these, I think this is a two and a half pound uh, fabric weight, pattern weight, weight, weight. I, mm, you can never have enough of these. And I use these in crafting, um, sewing, as well as foam smithing if I need to hold the foam down and all that good stuff. Oh, oh. Delighted with that. Let's see. I've got tearaway interfacing. So I use this a lot for my embroidery and when I'm making my patches, as well as my satin made bonnets, my uh, mushroom bonnets. The tearaway interfacing is good for stabilizing the embroidery thread that's on there, but I wind up using um, at least six pieces of this for every bonnet that I have made. And to date, I have made about 80 bonnets since I launched my Etsy. So I go through this ridiculously. Wildlife is the only place that has tearaway interfacing for cheap, already pre-cut. And I love y'all for it. Thank you so much. We will definitely make use of that. Let's see, what else do we have? Here's a laundry list of items that is included how much was that weight oh three and three quarters okay so i'm just strong we have our typical thank you note that's included with every single wild whack order all well and fine we've got a see-through ruler um but this one is this one is not only is it see-through but it also has notches here so you can go ahead, you can make your alterations based off of that. Um, you can, if you've got a rotary blade, no, you can't go through with the rotary blade. You can make your alterations in there and you can use the guide wheel on there if you'd like. Um, you can make your markings for pleating. You can angle it however you need to space things out. So very excited for this. Let's see, we've got, ooh, another ruler. I like rulers like this for when I am working with foam in addition to fabric and cutting those sharp angles. So, excite, excite. We've got a bag full of items. We've got a stain removing pen. And I like this for if I'm embroidering and there's something on the machine that just randomly shows up on whatever it is that I'm doing out of nowhere. Like fabric will be washed, everything will be fine. Then all of a sudden you go to move, uh, lift up the presser foot, you move your item and there's a weird ass stain. So excited for that. Oh gosh, there's so many things. Okay, we've got some more machine needles. We have super universal. And then we also have some more um, gold needles for embroidery. I've been going through a lot of needles with all of the aggressive sewing that I've been doing um, with running the Etsy shop as well as preparing for conventions too. So definitely good to re-up on those. I also got, ooh, yay, that's nice. I got, um, is this Guterman? This is Guterman um, metallic thread. I have tried sewing with metallic thread before, and since my machine is an older one, and she real aggressive, um, I would always have to babysit the machine and the thread would snap. So um, with the holiday season coming up, I'm going to be making a lot of gifts, and I want to see if a better grade of thread will be less prone to break while I'm making things. Excited to try that. We have a rotary blade sharpener. Um, oh. uh, but this one specifically is for the 60 millimeter blades, which are my uh, larger ones. I've got 
I've got my Fomori Cutlery 45mm ones, and Fomori will go ahead and sharpen your blades anyways. You just mail it back to them. They'll go ahead and do free sharpening for, you know, life. But some of my other ones, because um, Wawak has their 45mm rotary cutter too, and I've got a 45mm sharpener, but I didn't have a 60mm one. So this is, yes, excited for that too. What's next? couple more items we have some clear fabric grippers oh yes so these are actually going to stick on the bottom of the ruler so that way um, they don't necessarily slide around especially if I'm holding the ruler in place to go ahead and make a cut and then we've got some bodkins I use these for lacing elastic through my bonnets and um, also just lacing through any kind of sewing channels that I've made anyways. But it's got this interesting one that's got, um, I'm used to the one that looks like a funky pair of tweezers it's called the head type bobbin and it's for fine elastic string. So I'm interesting to see how that runs through, how that would work. Then last, see, is that it? Is that all? That's everything. Quite the haul. Let me tell you. I am so excited for especially this cutting mat. Sheesh. Flabbergasted over a cutting mat. Anyways. Uh, Wawat, as always, I love you. From the depths of my soul to the top of this wig. Boy, let me tell you. I appreciate y'all so very much. Again, thank you so much for supporting my sewing and crafting endeavors. As always, I will sing your praises until I can no longer speak. Ha ha, let me tell you. Other than that, I'll be around. Um, again, I don't do reviews very often, but Wawak is always a priority. So <laughs> thanks again, boo. Um, but in addition, uh, I'll be around. I've got another convention coming up, a princess event. And then I've got, actually, no, that's it for public stuff. And after that, everything's just going to be whenever the sewing machine gets a shop. Then um, it'll just be, you know, nose to the grind with Etsy and holiday gifts. So, you know, I'll be here if you need anything. Again, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your support as always. I hope that you all have a tremendous day. Take care.